Our story starts, however, outside of what is now known as Florida. It starts in Muscogean Territory, which constitutes the old southeast of the United States. The Muscogean Nation were fighting against the English and were forced to retreat south where they met the Spanish, who gave them the name Cimarrones, which translates to runaway, renegade, or wild person. Because during the time of colonialism, we were of course seen as, seen as savages or wild to justify our genocide. This trope affects all of us to this day. Once the Seminoles were in South Florida, the Seminoles joined up with different communities in South Florida, like I said, the Calusa and the Cuesta, who they now descend from. Then, as Manifest Destiny continued, the Seminole Wars began. Settlers were fighting against the Seminole Nation, and the Seminoles retaliated by joining forces with the black uh, runaway slaves who were also running from the English. They eventually joined the nation and are now known as Black Seminoles. Three Seminole Wars happened on and off between the years 1816 through 1858. The Seminole Wars were the most expensive of the Indian Wars, the most deadly of the Indian Wars, and the longest of Indian Wars. After the last Seminole War, over 300 Seminole people were left to preserve their way of life. Fast forward to 1957, Seminoles received federal recognition, and five years later, a separate tribe known as the Miccosukees received recognition as well. The Miccosukees were made up of the most traditionalist families living in the Everglades, and still are, who separated from the Seminole Nation due to a disagreement over how to preserve their culture. Now, Seminole Tribe of Florida and the Miccosukees number around 4,500 members. I hope you enjoyed the short history lesson of South Florida, or Cajayatle, as is known in El Abongi, which is what Seminoles and Miccosukees mostly speak. It is important to know the history as we are on native land. This is Seminole Miccosukee land, who include descendants of the now considered extinct tribes like the Calusa and the Cuesta. Whenever native people meet, we recognize whose land we're on as a sign of respect. We respect Mother Earth, but we also respect our relatives that care for her. We call this a land acknowledgement. FIU is on 8th Street, the same street the Tamiami Trail Reservation, where you can see the first people of South Florida. However, we are not seen by mainstream media or even by local communities. So I, so I ask all of you to please keep in mind that we are still living, breathing, and thriving people. We are also more than our genocide. We are not people of the past. We are people with a future who have a past, just like any other community. So please join me for a moment of silence for not just the communities that were lost during colonialism, but also for the communities who are currently fighting colonialism. Thank you. Native language first. So, Chihintamo, Chahochefke, Cheyenne, Gotham, Yaketeche, Chahochefke, Itotum, Anyatate, Kuba, Totum. Oh, it's EMG or Polea, the hit a picture to me, Sintoga. Tahotev get Aho Kiget, Yahalit Kotum, Yatosha nonle, Mahen Amitolit Kua, Migishogadua, Ilapunadua. Hantamo, Chahotev get a Eden Jumper, Amhotchev get Kuate, Jeff Kadosh, Thomasina, sorry, Thomasina Soho Jeff Kadosh, Kanvashki, Seminoli, Ivaua, Araidosh, Amalegada. So my English name is Cheyenne, my, um, my Indian name is Ite, and um, yeah, my family is, we're, we're part of the Seminole Tribe of Florida. I was born and raised in Hollywood. We still live on the Hollywood Reservation, and I mean, um, right now I'm serving as the current Miss Indian World, and due to, unfortunately, coronavirus, they've, um, they've asked me to serve another year. So I'll actually be serving into 2021, which is kind of scary, but exciting mm -hmm. at the same time. <laughs> so good to be with you all today. Um, my name in uh, my Mikasuki name um, is Yahalit Git, and I'm also known as Houston Riley Cypress. I'm from the Otter Clan of the Mikasuki tribe, and um, it's so good to be with you. Thank you. How are you doing? My name is Eden Jumper. Um, I'm a member of the Panther Clan. And that's about it. Yeah. So I'm Thomasina Chapko. I am from the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Um, I am the daughter of the Bird Clan. And yeah, that's pretty much what I say. 